Hello, I want to share with you today uh, the plans for reopening schools that we'll be recommending to the school board. Uh, and the board will be uh, reviewing and voting on on August 10th in a few weeks. First, we started with three top priorities as we studied this issue over the last number of months. One, the safety and health of our faculty, staff, and students, and parents, because we're worried about community spread of the virus as well. Second priority is uh, meeting the educational and social emotional needs of students. Students, it's best for kids to be in school, so that is a key priority. And third, that weighed in on our uh, thinking was family child care needs. And we know that uh, when schools aren't operating normally, it puts tremendous pressure on families. But certainly safety is number one, educational, social, emotional needs number two, and then three, family child care needs. So those were our priorities. We then matched those priorities with the top three CDC and Department of Health guidelines for safety that we've all been living by. Uh, number one, social distancing of six feet or more. Number two, wearing masks. And number three, hygiene, particularly hand hygiene, uh, washing hands regularly and using hand sanitizer when you can't get uh, to soap and water. So those uh, three priorities were then uh, matched against those three guidelines. And our answer to how do we accomplish the priorities while working within the guidelines is that a hybrid model of schooling is the most appropriate to start the school year. So what is a hybrid model? A hybrid model is simply uh, that 50% of the students come to school on any given day. We're gonna post a letter with details. We're going to post uh, an email, this as well. We'll post on the website and our social media sites a letter with details, an FAQ document that's multiple pages with lots and lots of questions uh, and other information so that parents can have uh, information that they need to fully understand. I can't go into all of that in this, in this video. But I do want to say that the hybrid plan for having 50% of the kids at a time come to school um, meets the need of social distancing, meets the need, uh, allows us to have mask wearing, but for students wearing masks two days a week in school, as opposed to coming to school every day and wearing masks, and allows us with a reduced population to better focus on hygiene, hand sanitizing, hand washing, and so forth. So the hybrid model helps us best meet the CDC guidelines, which then allows us to best meet our priorities of safety, education, and I know this plan may not be best for childcare, but again, we needed to meet the safety uh, concerns first. Our plan uh, was developed uh, in conjunction with the Bethlehem Health Bureau and their experts in public health. It was developed with the experts at St. Luke's, both in their uh, infectious disease experts as well as their community health experts. They literally uh, wrote, helped us write the plan and make sure and help us answer the FAQs that we've prepared for you. We then uh, took our draft plan and met with uh, experts from Lehigh Valley Health Network as an extra check to make sure our plan was on target and reviewed our hybrid plan with those experts as well. And we have support of all of those health experts that this is an appropriate and safe way to uh, open schools. Community spread in our community right now is relatively low. Lehigh County, Northampton County are doing well. And that also plays into our, our decision making. Um, again, we'll have a letter with all these details posted in the letter there are several pieces of, uh, several links for parents. So if you need childcare, the district will be offering childcare five days a week for the students who are not in school regularly uh, and also before and after school care. Now obviously there are limits to that. We don't want to have uh, a, a ton of kids in childcare. We'll defeat the purpose of the hybrid. But we know that some families will need hybrid and will, uh, I'm sorry, childcare and we'll make that available so there's a link for parents to register if you are interested in BASD childcare. There's also a link for parents who are interested in online because with the hybrid uh, model, uh, we believe we've addressed a lot of the safety concerns. But if a child has health issues or a parent or relative that lives in the household has health issues, 
a parent may still want uh, online options. So we have the two online options that we've discussed before, fully online in the BSD Academy, uh, Cyber Academy, and a new, uh, we're calling it BSD e-learning, where our plan would be to uh, match students who are interested in being online with a teacher who would teach online. So for example, if there were a group of students, second grade students from across the district whose parents wanted them to learn online, we would have one teacher serve those second grade students from across the district. Um, so there are links for parents to register either for the Cyber Academy or for the BASD e-learning uh, in that in the emails in the uh, email letter as well and then also there will be a link for parents to post questions or comments so if you have questions or comments if the FAQs don't answer all your questions uh, there's a link in the letter that we've posted online for you to uh, enter that information our school board's interested in getting that information so they can use it as part of their decision making and their thinking uh, in the run-up to the August 10th meeting so once we open schools, uh, that's just the beginning. Um, the goal is to keep schools open. And a major part of that will be what uh, I've learned from our public health experts is surveillance, monitoring, and contact tracing. So there's good news here in that the Bethlehem Health Bureau is providing us with a, a public health expert professional who will be embedded in the district, who will be located, he or she will be working in the education center with our supervisor of health services. This will help us uh, with contact tracing and with staying on top of any concerns about COVID cases. The reality though is that there will be COVID cases is what all the public health experts are telling me. Um, and so we have detailed plans which we'll also post on the website on notification. But let me give you the basics. Uh, if, a, if we have a suspected case of COVID or a confirmed case on the part of an employee or a student, we will notify uh, all the parents in that school and obviously all the staff as well. And then working with the Health Bureau, we would quickly identify anyone who's identified as a close contact and those people would have to uh, then quarantine under the rules of the, of the uh, Department of Health. So close contact is defined as someone who has been within six feet of a positive person um, for more than 15 minutes. So again, we're hoping that our hybrid model, by reducing the number of students, wearing masks, and allowing us to have six feet between students uh, for most of the time, will reduce uh, any, uh, anyone from being a close contact in the case of positive cases. But we will be able, to, our plan is to move quickly with the partnership of the health department to notify families and then to notify any close contacts. Um, one of the biggest challenges we face uh, and one of the biggest threats to us being able to continue to keep schools open as we go into the fall is an unfortunate backlog in testing right now in the country. Um, and so we're hoping that as uh, testing and the reporting of results can be ramped up more quickly um, that'll allow us to be able to identify cases very quickly and be able to respond to it. Um, but that, that's a need right now in our community for increased testing. Um, finally, I want to say that I know this is tough. This is tough on everybody. I have two daughters. They're going to be going back to school as well. Um, I feel comfortable um, as a parent and I absolutely feel comfortable as the superintendent of schools responsible for re making this recommendation to the board that the hybrid model is the best model right now. Returning to schools with everybody would not in any way respect the social distancing rules. Um, closing schools while community spread is low and the recommendations of our health professionals is that it's safe to open schools under the plans that we have now. Um, closing schools would be going, in my mind, too far and would be an, an overreach that's not necessary. We can accomplish our three priorities, or at least our top two priorities. I understand childcare will continue to be an issue uh, under a hybrid model, but we'll accomplish our priorities of safety and being able to educate kids through this hybrid plan. Um, this is, I believe, our best path forward, but things are changing and things change rapidly and it is possible that we could end up with a closure. 
it's not possible that we would go backwards and say we're going to open uh, with everybody. But it is possible, depending on what happens between now and the start of school, that we could end up closing altogether. So I think, uh, I think parents need to be prepared for that when you talk about childcare for that potential scenario. But right now, the recommendation of the board is the hybrid model. Uh, please view the online information. Please take a look at the letter, which will also be posted online. Use the links that are there for child care or for online learning or for posting your comments. Um, we want to continue to um, you know, make this the best plan possible. We think this is an excellent plan right now, and I'm confident uh, that we can move ahead with this plan safely. Thank you.